So today we're going to cover a topic that we get a lot of questions about, and it's pediatrics or you know care for infants and children. So the big question is, should your children be checked? And the answer to that question is very easy, absolutely. The, most of the people we see as adults, a lot of their problems started in childhood. So if they would have been under care you know, since birth, these problems would never would have got to be as chronic as they are. Because when people come to me, the problems that I find oftentimes are decades old. They're not new issues. So uh, care for kids is just so important. And you know, in pediatrics, especially with the infants and small, small children, a lot of the things that people go to pediatricians for, let's say ear infections, colic, uh, constipation, these all can be caused by spinal nerve irritation. So getting your child's spine checked early and regularly is very, very important for proper development. How do we get these problems in, in kids? You're like, well, what, how does my kid even have something that needs to be adjusted? Well, once again, great question, but it's from day one. When the doctor pulls and twists the head, the forces are quite intense and can usually damage the upper cervical spine to some degree. You know, some kids are hurt more than others and some are very lucky and don't get hurt at all. But then once we get our children home, you know, we start handling them, which causes a stress throughout their mid back and low back. And then once they start becoming active, I mean, anybody who's had kids, watch them play, we know I mean, how traumatic children can be to themselves. They fall, you know, they're wrestling, they're, you know, they're doing all sorts of things that once again damage the spine, then, you know, take any accents they have. That's just, you know, the obvious things that you think about. But most of the problems that kids will get, they're just going to be from regular wear and tear. So unless you're checking a child, you're really not going to know if they have issues. Much like if you, uh, with teeth, you know, unless you go to the dentist and get checked, you're not going to know if your child has a cavity until it gets so bad that it's causing tooth pain. And by then, we're talking root canal. So it's one of those things we want to check the child often, uh, you know, if they're not having any problems on a monthly basis, something like that is, is a good uh, ballpark. And you, you want to make sure that whoever you go to is checking the spine. So in the Gonstead work, we're very meticulous and very specific about what we're looking for and how we're going to correct it. Because children's spines are, one, a lot smaller, especially when you're dealing with infants. You know, they're only this big, so their spines are very small. The bones are very, very tiny. And the musculature and ligaments that hold everything together are, are not as well developed as an adult. So you have to know what you're doing. You have to be very, very careful. We obviously use less force, uh, smaller contacts. So when you're looking for a chiropractor to take care of your child, there's a couple things you wanna make sure that they're doing. Number one is you wanna make sure that they're checking your child every time, okay? They're checking the spine diligently so they know that there's something that actually needs to be adjusted. Too often you take your child in and they just go in and they don't really check them. They'll just start pushing on bones, you know, just because they're there. That's not chiropractic, that's just kind of a random manipulation that your child got. They might like it, and they might even get some benefit from it, but over time, because that force isn't specifically applied to an area of damage, it'll cause damage. So you'll, your kid over time will develop spinal issues from the care that they're given. So in the guidance of work, we're gonna do an exam. Every single time we're gonna run this instrument, which will tell me where there's spinal nerve irritation. And then I'm gonna use my hands to determine which segments of the spine need to be adjusted. And then, according to the x-ray, and now x-rays in kids, in my opinion on x-rays is they're very, very important for kids. Do, when do I x-ray? I'll x-ray any child that I can that can hold still for a film. So, you know, this really depends on the maturity of the child, you know. My child has been x-rayed three times and she's 14. So she was x-rayed early on as soon as she could stand still. Um, I don't try to x-ray kids that are really young just because it's almost impossible for them to hold still and get a good usable film. But if it's needed, I've even uh, x-rayed infants, you know, if they were, had really bad problems. So um, if a chiropractor wants to x-ray your child, I would definitely uh, support that for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this sweet girl here. She's been under care for a long time. So she's a pro at this. So we're gonna start by checking your spine with the instrument. And when you go to a chiropractor, make sure that they check the child with, their, with no clothes on, like with a gown that they're not you know, just feeling through clothes. Because number one, there's a lot of things you'll need to see when you're checking a child, and you obviously can't see through clothes. Two, is they shouldn't be trying to palpate through clothes. I don't care how good anyone's hands are, they're not as good feeling through clothes. So make sure they're doing some type of analysis, and they're doing it skin on skin. 
and the adjustment itself should be given skin on skin. Adjusting through clothes can make your hands slip, especially when you're dealing with, with little spines. If you're off just by a little bit, you're on a wrong segment. But it's just amazing how fast ki kids get better. Because their problems aren't chronic yet. So I'm checking her neck. She's got a lot of tight muscles right here through the neck. I find the nerve pressure right here at the base. Right there, a little swollen. And she's got one down here in the back. I found one other pressure way down low here. Let's rock back and forth. Good. That one just doesn't move the way the other one does. And let's rock your head back and forth a bunch. We're just checking for the motion. We're looking to see if it moves or not. When we get da uh, damaged segments of the spine, they get stuck. And that's why chiropractors are adjusting because we're actually trying to restore that motion and function. Awesome. Alright, so I've located three areas of nerve pressure that we're going to uh, correct today. So we're going to start here with the neck. So depending on how, how big they are, they can be uh, adjusted here in the chair. Uh, for babies, a lot of times I'll do them here with my lap or sometimes laying on the, you know, the mother's or father's chest. It just depends. Um, sometimes if they're real little, I'll just kind of I'll set up the pillow over there on the bench and, and adjust them that way. So depending on just on the size of the kid, we have a way to adjust them. It doesn't matter. So. But for her, she's big enough. Uh, she's a big girl now, so she's going to sit back. I'll wait a second. And, and because they're so light, typically adults, they don't need any stabilization. You can just kind of adjust them as is. But when they're light, we use, have a special strap in the gun that work. It's kind of like a seatbelt. So it goes on like this. Lift your arm up. There you go. And it just kind of holds them there a little bit so that when we give the adjustment, their whole body doesn't move. We can just move that segment real specifically. So we're going to adjust it exactly how that x-ray tells me to. Right. Bring your chin down a little bit. Perfect. There we go. Good one. Perfect. Now it's under the seat belt. Good job. I'm going to let the back down here. Right, so let's get that low back over here. I'll lay on your side facing me. In your bottom leg. There we go. She knows what to do. She's got an ill ear. Correct. Roll you towards me. Good job. All right, we've got one more. Kids love this one. This is always kind of like a little ride for them. So we see lots of kids, lots of families, and they'll kind of all scamper up here when they take their ride. Right, so put your hands forward here. That's how we do it. Very good. She gets back to the chair. I'm going to recheck things. So I'm just basically going to see if all the segments moving again the way we want. Oh, yeah, just so right after the adjustment. So, you know, imagine the spinal damage is like a light switch. You know, the nerves are kind of like the wires and these muscle spasms are kind of like the light bulbs. When you give a specific adjustment and if you make a correction, you're going to get a pretty instantaneous change in the musculature that kind of corresponds to that. So when she came in, her neck muscles were really tight and already, you know, they're softer. And then we'll check the motion here. I want to see that it feels like it's moving compared to before. And that definitely does. Great. And we'll check that one down here as well. Now we got equal motion on both sides. Very good. All right, so I hope that sheds a little bit of light on what we do for uh, kids with chiropractic. So uh, in the Gonset work, like I said, we take care of, and how early can you see a child? As soon as they're born, you know, and actually that's probably one of the best times. My daughter was checked the day she was born and she didn't need an adjustment. You know, that's, that's great. So that's what you want. 
but um, you know, a lot of kids aren't so lucky. But even within a couple weeks of just regular wear and tear, my daughter did need to be adjusted. So um, get your kids checked. Uh, hopefully they don't need anything, but if they do, it's a vital part of their development. So hope that uh, sheds some light on it. Thanks.